So, onward to Undernet 6. Now we just have to survive this place. I don't think that one was the fake out, so we need to be ready. Best way to deal with you guys. Now yeah, we'll go with this. This is silly, but it works. Just in time. Okay, that was the fake-out path. And again. We're almost at our destination. And I think it was doing another fake-out path. Yeah. Okay. So we go this way, and we open the gate. Who are you, child? How did you get in here? I came to defeat you all. You must be a crony of Searchman. So be it. I'll show you what happens to those who oppose us. Deletion! Ah! And so, once again, Endurance Battle. The longer I can conserve my full synchro, the better. Just kind of save that as a trump card. Uh... Yeah, I think we're good with this. You're not really that much of a threat. Again, very silly, but I want to hang on to full synchro. Okay, that's three rounds down. Round four. This one's looking a little more hectic. Hmm. This might be a good time to just go ahead and use full synchro. That was pretty effective overall. And round five. So, let's see here. Not really the best setup. But we'll do what we can. We at least got rid of some things there. Decent damage to you. I'm a little nervous as to what that heal Navi's gonna do. Okay, area grab, but at the very least, that's gone. Okay, hopefully we're going to be okay. Oh, you would dodge. That was a really bad time for Wind Soul to run out. All the power of the sun. There we go. 
You're pretty good. But we'd be out of business if word got out that a kid outsmarted us. We can't let you leave here alive. More navvies. Strength in numbers is the foundation of warfare. It's not cowardly. We could pull it off versus normal navvies, but the denizens of the Undernet won't be that easy. Not good. Mega Man's already tired from the virus's battle. Not the virus's battle! I'll delete you as painlessly as I can. Navi Karate, Undernet style, Moon of Hades. The ultimate move. No one survives the Moon of Hades. Prepare yourself. Len, here he comes. Whoa. Adios, Blue Navi. Moon of... Hey, what the... What have you done? Who? What? Such power and precision. That was the same as the attacks that were directed at me. Who's doing this? Mission accomplished. Len, that search man over there. Now I've seen what you can do. Nice job getting this far despite Searchman's attacks. Rika! So Searchman was the one shooting at Mega Man? I've had a good look at your ability now. Searchman, were you able to analyze their battle power? Let me see. The probability of beating them is... 99%. Only a 1% chance of failure, huh? On the battlefield, that 1% could mean life or death. We're gonna crush you with all our might. Let's go, Searchman. Yes, sir. A 1% chance. Mega Man, don't let it bother you. Haven't we survived far more dangerous battles before? You're right. There's nothing the two of us together can't overcome. Now you're talking. Let's show those show-offs what we can really do. Roger. Kinda wonder if they have you automatically jack out just in case there was another Search Man reticle in play when he already left. Because that would have been kind of funny if he could have shot you after he was gone. <laughs> but anyway, with that scenario complete for the most part, now we just have to go beat Searchman. And so we'll take care of that after a quick refreshing pause. Back in a moment. And so with that, battle time. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, first it's Lan, the Electopia representative. And over here, representing Charo, Rika. Rika, we're gonna smack that smug look off your face. Then you're gonna apologize for dissing us. Not a chance. You'll be groveling at my feet soon enough. Right back at you. This time it's your turn to grovel. Huh. So, I'll take it that you're ready. Searchman, neutralize Mega Man, so he can never defy us again. Got it. Listen to their trash talk. This is gonna be a fierce battle. Time to battle. Lan versus Rika. Battle routine set. Execute. Target, Mega Man. Locked in. And so with that, it's time to fight Searchman. This fight can be a bit of a tricky one. We'll go with this. Invis can only do so much for you in this fight. Kind of want to do a little bit of landscaping there. As Searchman hides, he'll throw out a pattern of three grenades that explode in a cross-shaped explosion. The real worry, though, is the sniper shot that comes after every second volley of grenades. That sees straight through in Viz.
kind of just want to open up things a little bit here. All right. After every second volley, just be ready to move. Ah, uh, not in range. All right, let's see you dodge this then. The more room you have to get around the grenades, the better. Ah, uh, let's see. He does have one other attack that he can do once he's lower on health. I'll try and get him to display that. It usually follows his sniper shot. Yeah, there it is. That's what I was thinking that the blue moon laser did. That's definitely what I was thinking of. Get a little fire soul action going here. I could swear I hit the button sooner than that. Yeah, I know, Fireman, it's terrible, but we may as well just get that out of the way. Let's see. This could work. And there we go, Search Man is down. Search Man's been deleted. Lan and Mega Man have won the deadly duel. How do you like them apples, Rika? I don't believe it. You only had a 1% chance of winning. We kept on our toes. What went wrong, Search Man? Tell me. During the battle, an unexpected variable was introduced. And as the battle progressed, that variable grew stronger. Huh? What do you mean, an unexpected variable? He means the power of friendship between Mega Man and I. I doubt that was in your guy's analysis. Power of friendship? That's right. Our power is limitless when our souls become one. Even a computer cannot measure it. Power even a computer can't measure. After all, Navis have a soul. Even you'd be more powerful by bonding with Search Man. Bond with Search Man. I, other words, become friends with your Navi. What's wrong? Why the confused look? Well, do you realize what you just said? I, other words? Oh, I know. You don't have any friends, do you, Rika? So you really don't know what to do. Shut up! My sole purpose in life is to become an elite soldier. I don't need any friends. Rika here. Oh, Mr. President. Forgive me, I accept my punishment. Wait, I'm not done talking to you yet. I was in this tournament under the orders of our President. My mission was to show the world Charo's network military power. But I failed. And that punishment you mentioned? I blew the mission. I must be punished. But that must be something terrible. <laughs> What's so funny? Just a moment ago you hated me, but now you're suddenly worried about me? So? That's just the way I am. What a freak. If, and I mean if, we were to meet somewhere else, I could become your friend. Well, okay then. You could at least say it like you mean it, Rika. Lan and Rika have become friends. They've had a meeting of minds through battle. I really like Search Man's cool personality. And so Mega Man's soul is communed with Search Man's. We're bound to meet again sometime. Yeah. And so we've got mail. Search Soul from Dad. 
Invisible type chips such as Invis serve as sacrifices for Search Soul. Using Search Soul dispels invisible and pop-up states of opponents. Hold and release the B button to fire the scope gun, which can shoot from anywhere. You can also shuffle and switch chips to select on the custom screen, increasing your chance to use advances. However, you can only shuffle chips up to three times per selection. Good luck using Search Soul technique. It's actually a really good one. We'll demonstrate it momentarily, but first let's do a quick bit of cleanup here. We have access, so let's go ahead and get the mystery data that's in here. And we get... Unlocker. And of course it's going to be a repeat, but we may as well see what the final scenario is for this tournament. Go ahead and skip ahead. And it's Coldman. Been there, done that. So we'll just skip the intros here. And we'll be back in a moment to demonstrate the power of Search Soul. So, time to demonstrate Search Soul. You need to sacrifice a stealth type chip such as Invis or Pop Up to do this. We're not going to see the true value of Search Soul right away. We have to wait a turn for that. But there it is in all its glory. The scope gun charge shot, it's okay for what it is, but for a homing shot, it's not all that reliable just because enemies aren't just going to sit there and take it. Thus, it's not the best part of Search Soul. That would be the shuffle function. Say you have a couple of chips out of a program advance, like Long Sword and Normal Sword, but you're missing the last piece. You can go ahead and select both those chips to lock them down, then hit shuffle to randomize the rest of your hand. And sometimes you get exactly what you want. You can shuffle up to three times per turn, opening up a lot of possibilities of getting advances out faster. Very handy. Search Soul does also have the more situational aspect of getting rid of things like pop-up or invis as soon as you activate it, but like I said, that's fairly situational. Still handy though when it works. So with that, here we are in Undernet 1. Why are we here? Because this is where Search Man is hiding on the net, so let's go track him down. He is fairly deep in this area, so we're likely to get a virus battle before we find him. Yep, right there. Alright. And there we go. So, moving on. Hi there, search man. So, let's see. We can go ahead and make use of a bit of this. Wow, I can even hit him out of that. Very nice. That's pretty handy. So, let's see here. I want to see if I can get the last bit of pile driver in here. No luck this time. I do at the very least want to get this boulder out of my side of the field. And well, there we go right there. Go ahead and shuffle to see if we can get anything else good. Open up the folder a bit more. Hit you with pile driver. Get rid of your boulder. So let's see here. Ah, no wide sword this time. And that was our last turn with Search Soul. We'll go with this.
was really expecting you to stay a little bit closer. Let's see here. Yeah, even a single hit of Sparkman is still good. And this should finish things off. Go to it, Fireman! And there we go! With that, we have a Searchman chip. Looks pretty awesome, actually. I really like Searchman's Navi design. So, let's see just what we have here. Searchman. 20 damage. Stop sight and fire 5 shots, so it does up to 100. We'll demonstrate this in a moment. And now to show what Search Man can do. When you first send out Search Man, he'll send a cursor orbiting through the field. Take too long and he'll pick his own spot to fire. But if you hit the chip button again, you stop where the cursor is yourself. So on the outside it doesn't seem like it does a whole lot. But bear in mind it's a multi-hitting chip. That means things like Navi Plus or Attack Plus, they can work wonders with Search Man. Still, it is a very focused attack, and you have to have really good timing with it. But with that, that's all for now. That's the end of the Searchman scenario, and the final scenario we had to go on Red Sun. So, next time we'll cover the final scenario we have over on Blue Moon. So with that, thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. It's good to get back to this one, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, fare thee well.